Hey man, this is Jason, Shinebox Collector today, coming at you from the frozen tundra of Indiana. I thought it was only appropriate that I cover myself and protect my eyeballs from the Chinebox. As you all may have known, I won Papino Man's giveaway for, I believe it's his 1300 subscriber giveaway. And so this afternoon I went out to my mailbox. And I shoveled my way through the snow and ice and everything to get out to the precious chine box. I'm sorry, mailbox that had the chine box in it. So I rescued it before anything happened because uh, yeah, I didn't want to get the wet. I didn't want it to get moldy. I didn't want the chine to not be so chiny. And so I ran out there and I saw it was there and I was so excited. I just couldn't hide it. So I'm going to do this live stream. Maybe some of you all will see what I receive. I probably will archive it because I'm not playing any music. On the outside chance it would get taken down and I have to do this all over again. But I'm kind of landlocked into my house for the entire day. I will probably show here in a few moments the, my backyard, which is covered in snow. And it just keeps coming down. So, anyways, I received these nice chine glasses uh, in my care package. I have yet to go through it. And so, I'm going to pull these cards out one at a time. And I will show you as I'm seeing them for the first time. Hopefully, people will appreciate it. If not, it's okay because I appreciate it. So I want to say again, thank you to Cesar Papino Man. Uh, you're a great friend, and I'm so glad I won uh, the Chine Box uh, giveaway. It was super cool. I honestly, I think that you said you had 70 something subscribers, 70 something people. Um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You had 70 something people, you know, uh, chip into the entry. There we go. Like, who participated. Sorry, I'm just looking out of the snow and it just keeps like coming. Um, and I won. So I was super, super excited. So thank you again for that. So I believe my eyes have adjusted. I now will go ahead and switch to my actual glasses and take off my chine glasses. And we'll get into this care package and see what's there. All right, I'm back. My chine glasses are will be right here from Papino Man. I'll put my chine glasses on just in case if it gets too chiny. I can I can flip them down and be ready for them. I'm just gonna kind of put them right there. But I'm gonna put them up a little higher. So let's take a look here and see what all there is in my little in my precious chine box. I gotta take off my glasses now because they're getting all foggy from the excitement. Maybe that's just my eyeball. All right. Oh, my goodness. There's another pair of sunglasses also. Holy smokes. These are some legit sunglasses. I think these were the ones that he wore that he said that he got for free because apparently there's vendors in the world of uh, uh, lawn care for different kinds of uh, sports complexes. And uh, I guess there are vendors that give out sunglasses trying to get you to buy their product or to support their product. And as you see right there, they are Oakley's. So I'm sure my son will love these because as you see, I wear glasses. So I wouldn't be able to use them as much. I could put them like this. Wouldn't that be cool? I could just do my chime box like this. I actually might do it. It's like I can still see and they're big enough so you can really see my glasses, my big old bottle caps. So maybe I'll just do that. That'd be kind of cool. I'll put my other sunglasses up here. So I'm just like sunglassed out. I'm ready to rock and roll. And so I'm going to do the chime box this way. But I'll probably give these to Luca so he can wear them during his baseball season this year. I'm sure he will love that. So I got these two pairs of sunglasses from uh, Cesar. Thank you. And now I can get into the care package. And let's see what all I get. Wow, there's a lot of chine here. The cool thing is, I've been watching all of uh, Papino Man's videos leading up to the actual giveaway. And um, so I got to see some of the things that he may be throwing in here. So I was super excited because 
at the end of the day, I'm just grateful for whatever I get. Obviously, I've said that a million times. So anything above zero is I'm excited. So uh, to go through these uh, shiny cards and see what I'm going to be getting is super exciting. And knowing that he went through them and kind of did a had a had a purpose to you know give a, give away a lot of his shiny cards, I appreciate it because he is a shine master. So the first up is Jimmy Butler from the Timberwolves. And I don't know, sometimes these cards, I'm sure, can be numbered or whatever. I'm not for sure if these are prisms or what they are, but there's the first one. Next up, we have Andre Drummond. I wonder if he's related to Mr. Drummond with the Detroit Pistons. So there we go. Then we have Tobias Harris. We got Tobias Harris. And the cool thing is, like, a lot of this product is from the last couple of years. And since I don't collect a lot of basketball and football, it's really cool to kind of go through to see what all is out there. I mean, maybe I'll even start collecting some basketball. Because I like Pacers. I've always enjoyed the Pacers. I like the Celtics. But, mo you know, I'm a, I'm a homer when it comes to basketball because I don't really care. There's not a pro baseball team in Indiana. And I don't care about football. So, basketball, I like the Pacers. I go to a lot of Pacers games. I just don't really talk about it because I don't collect basketball cards. But it's kind of cool. Hey, it's cool I said that because here's a Pacer right here. It is Bajorn McDonovic. I'm sure I've, like, slaughtered his name. I remember him being on the team last year. I don't know if he's still there or not. But I remember him being pretty good for the team last year. And like I said, I'm not going to sit there and act like I know a whole lot about basketball or the different players. But I just enjoy watching the games. Then we have another Detro uh, Toronto Raptor, uh, Damar DeRozan. There you go. That's a cool card. Oh my goodness! I'm super. Oh, I know. I know this guy, Dirk Norwinski. I know uh, Luca Luca Dunnick, who has the same spelling as my son. Uh, he's kind of like the new face of the franchise there with the Mavericks. So it's kind of cool to get that card because I'm sure a lot of these cards my son will enjoy. We got a Corey Davis with the Titans. Oh, this is numbered. Wow. Five out of 49. That's awesome. Yeah, a lot of that chine right there. A lot of that chine. Stellar. What's it say? Stellar rookie. He's a rookie and he's stellar. You got that? Ooh. Nice. This is a Diamond Might Barry Bonds card. Nice. I wonder if uh, Nate Top 85 401, yeah. I wonder if he has this card or not. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he probably has 15 of this card, but super cool. Adam Wainwright, purple. I'm sure. I don't know. This is a refract. Yep, it's a refractor. Adam Wainwright, this purple. Now, if I go every card and say, oh, look how China is going to get old. So, <clears throat> you know, I started out with Chiny. I'll probably mention it throughout the video. But I would probably think they would get old real fast if I'm doing like an hour-long video. And I just keep saying, oh, look how tiny it is. Like every every five seconds. Jed, uh, girl, what's his last name? Giroko? I don't know. I'm sure I slaughter that, but this is a refractor. So there's that one. Ooh, we got Josh Harrison pink. This is nice. I saw him play this uh, back uh, that, the last game of the season with the Reds. Uh, he's actually a lot smaller than I, or is it Josh Harrison? Or jo I think it's Josh Harrison. He's a very short guy. They mark him as five foot eight. His, there's no way he's five foot eight. I'm probably as tall as he is. And I'm five foot seven. He looked like he was shorter than I was. He's kind of like the Altuve of the Pirates. Like they used to mark. I think they used to mark Altuve at five foot eight also, and he's really like five foot five. And I think Josh Bell. I'm sorry, Josh Harrison is around that same boat. All right, let's see who's that. Ooh, Todd Frazier, Cincinnati Red. You know I'm excited about that. I do not have that card, I don't believe. 
I think I have the base card of that or like a Topps opening day. But do not have that one. Awesome. Then we got a Keani Kayla. I think this is like a, is this a, like a, ooh, that, I like that shine. That's a nice little shiny there. So cool. This is a update series from like 2015, maybe. Yeah, 2015. Texas Ranger. Shout out to Chase and Inc. Chase. Texas Ranger. Nice. And then we got Brad Miller. The Seattle Mariners. Shout out to uh, Kyle. Ground Chuck. Brad Miller. Look, he's right. He's like he's running with purpose. His jersey jersey's dirty. He's, he's earning that paycheck. Arizona Diamondbacks. Ooh, this one's numbered. That this is number one thousand three hundred fifty-eight out of nineteen fifty-eight. Chris Young. I just love numbered cards and refractors. I really do. I don't. I mean, even if it's a player that I don't really follow or a team I don't care about as much, I just think they're cool cards. I like them. I like all that chine out of my chine box. And next up, I have an N. Desmond with the Washington Nationals. This card's also numbered. Eight out of, oh, no, is it eight? Yeah, eight out of 566. So, that is awesome. Let me put that up there. This is a national, so the nationals would be Xavier Snoop. Oh my goodness, I love it. That's a really cool. I love that card. That card is so that and that card definitely earns the time the term shiny. Oh, it's very rainbow flavor. Then we have Matt Lind Lindstrom with the White Sox. That would be uh Gary Bink Scott. He's a big White Sox guy. And I think these were like top or these tops cards. These reds, I should say, were either Walmart or Target exclusives. I think the red were um, Target and the blue were Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. So you have that one. Ooh, Will Middlebrooks. This is a nice one. This is like, I don't know, it's like the diamond or something. I don't know, diamond or I don't know what they call this. I forgot, but I like that. You got those Cincinnati, Cincinnati the Boston Red Sox. So that's Isman 70 Izzy. You got uh, enough said cards, Andrew with the Red Sox, and you got Jonathan Cuban Collector. Are all my homies. So there you go with that one. Ooh, this here's the here's white Chris Davis. We got white Chris Davis right here. This card is also numbered. Wow, 31 out of 50. Well, let me show that there. That is super cool. Chris Davis. That shout out to Ed Wesker Griff. He's an Orioles fan. So please enjoy that card. Super nice card, man. Uh, uh, Papino, man, I, I am kind of just in awe of these cards. I just thank you so much for uh, doing this, dude. Seriously. Here is a Jake McCarthy out of Arizona. It's a college based card. He played for Virginia. I guess he got picked up by the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's number 46 out of 49. But there it is. Sorry. Okay, cool. All right, sorry. I'm going to make sure my phone was kind of getting wonky. I want to make sure I can show it off. So there's that. That's an awesome one. Cool, cool. Then we got Brent Braden Shoemake. Hold on, wait. Okay. And this is like a, maybe an insert card. I don't know. I can't tell. But you can see there's a lot of shine on that one. The USA card. Then I have, ooh, we got Reggie ja <laughs> Reggie Jackson. Who knew Reggie Jackson played basketball for the Pistons? But we got a Reggie Jackson right there for the Detroit Pistons. You know, that was not a mistake to be named Reggie Jackson. You know that for sure. 
Man, that car just exploding with color. It's exploding with color. Look at that. Just it's just exploding. <clears throat> wow, dude. You gave me you sent me an autograph of Sebastian Telfair for the Toronto Raptors. That is awesome, man. This is a autograph of Sebastian Telfair, it looks like. I'm never gonna turn down. I got my auto, I got some autographs from you from uh, a care package you sent me not too long ago, which I owe you a care package. I don't owe you. I want to do that for you, um, but um, based on our conversations we've had in the past, I want to make sure it's stuff that you really want. So I might need to get with you via text, and we can kind of maybe knock some stuff out out because I like to send you some things you might really want. But that is awesome. I'm always gonna be excited. About it. He sent me some autographs of. Um, I go swimmers and and I don't even know what, but it's all over here. Of uh, uh, what else? Yeah, swimmers and other basketball players is so cool. So thank you for that. Another awesome autograph. There's more. Don't worry. I'm putting all the stuff over here. Then we got. Then we have a uh, Kent Bazemore. Kent Bazemore. There's a lot going on with this one too. Okay, whoa. Kent Bazemore. This is a really pretty card. Oh, this just came out this year. I had no idea that he really collected basketball and football like that much. I didn't, I, I'm really surprised by that. All right, so we have some more stuff. Dude, seriously? Dude, this is awesome, man. Seriously, this is awesome. I'm glad I got three pairs of glasses on my head because this is a lot. This tells me he he has watched my videos. He's seen me do my movie stuff. He's seen me probably just talk on my on my live streams. He may not be commenting. And obviously, it's fine. I don't care if people comment or not. I mean, it's nice, but it's not necessary by any stretch of the imagination. But it tells me he must really pay attention because probably most people wouldn't really know this because it's not something I want to talk about on on 95% of my videos, but he sent me a patch card from Clerks, the movie Clerks with the milk. Now, if you know anything about Clerks, there's a scene at, at the beginning and at the end, but, well, I really said at the beginning, but at the end with the milk, it is hilarious. Oh my gosh. And the talking about the milkmaids. So here's the quote, just because I want to I want to read the quote. It says, This is from Dante. The milkmaids, the women that go through every gallon of milk looking for the later date. As if somewhere beyond all the other gallons, there's a container of milk that won't go bad for like a decade. And that is a quote from the movie. <clears throat> and that is hilarious. I had no idea they even made I'm like over here touching it, like, ooh. But that is so cool, dude. I had no idea they made clerks cards. That is awesome. This has a special place in my heart, dude, seriously. I'm like John Cusack and say anything. I'm going to, like, hold this up. Just let everybody see this awesomeness of the milk gallon, a gallon of milk. That is awesome, dude. Like, super, super cool. All right, let's see what else we have here. Because... The party hasn't stopped yet, man. We're going to keep on keeping on. <laughs> it's funny you sent me this because I think I've sent this to somebody else in the past because I just find it amusing and I, I like that it came back to me. So I have this. Uh, was it? I don't know what's the word here. Hominodia? Hominodia? Uh, some guy looks like a spider monkey to me, but apparently I don't know. That's not what it is. But it hails from Africa and Asia. They have no tails and they have a tendency to lean towards um, maintaining an upright posture. So they do a lot of upright posture walking opposed to being on all fours. So there you go. We're, we're, this is going to be an educational one. Wow. Mother Teresa. That is awesome. A Mother Teresa card. That is cool. Mother Teresa, as you all know, was a very famous... Lady, I believe she was from Albania, who was a nun, who went to India and to take care of the people from India, mostly, I believe, um, women and children 
uh, that were poor and destitute, some of the un untouchables, and help give them hope. Obviously, sharing Christ with them and giving them opportunity to better themselves. I've always had a been. A, I've always been a little bit salty because she had passed away, and then a few days later, Princess Diana died in a car crash, and then like nobody even cared about Mother Teresa, or Mother Teresa passed away a few days after Diana, and then no one ever, no one ever mentioned Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa lived a very rewarding life, taking care of other people, and didn't care about being in the spotlight or about anything. And then Diana comes in, even in her death, takes away something. And so I believe that would have been uh, very nice for people who really knew, know what kind of woman and just help uh, this like great person. She was sharing hope and, and kindness and love. And Diana died in a car crash, trying to escape paparazzi from her then boyfriend or whatever, just kind of ridiculousness. But anyways, I love that mother Teresa card. Tim Kate, this number is his card number as well. This is number 58 out of 999. Tim Kate, at least you can see right. Oops, is it right? Where is it? Oh, right here. It is numbered right there. So that's cool. From Washington, he's in his Yukon jersey. Oh my goodness, I mean, this is like this keeps going. I'm sure glad I'm doing. Hey, what's up, dude? Bronx boys, hey, what's up, my brother? Wow, he sent me a Jeremy Lin card. It's my first Jeremy Lin card. I've always liked Jeremy Lin. He's actually a guy that I would collect basketball-wise. He's one of the very first Asians. He's uh, His family, I'm not for sure if he is, but I believe his family is from Taiwan. Maybe it says right here. If I look, it doesn't say specifically. <clears throat> but it's really cool. Hey, uh, Bronx, what's your first name? So I don't have to keep calling you Bronx Boys. Uh, or Bronx Boy. Yeah, Boys. Okay. What, do you don't, if you don't mind, what's your first name? So I can say what's your first name, of course. But I always would be willing to um, collect Jeremy Lynn. I always think his story is really a cool story. He played at Harvard. <clears throat> <clears throat> Obviously, he's Asian, and I think most people don't think much about Asians playing in sports, especially something like basketball is predominantly by black play, predominated, predominantly played by black players. And an Asian guy is not taken serious, aside from Yao Ming, because he was so tall, and he was a good ball player. Don't get me wrong, but most people are not going to consider anybody outside of Yao Ming worth anything. But Jeremy Lin had a had a few solid seasons, one in particular. And he was a good ball player, but he came out of Harvard. I don't think anybody expected him to do anything in, in NBA. But he had a pretty nice career in the NBA. Now, I know he's been hurt the last couple seasons. He may have retired. He may still be playing, but if he's playing, he's in a, in a much reduced role. But he kind of lit up on fire during his time with the Houston Rockets, if I'm not mistaken. And people just kind of like that was called Lynn's Sanity there for like what the better part of a year <clears throat> there was a documentary about him he was like on all kinds of magazine covers and all that but I just think it's kind of cool he kind of transcended I mean there was a lot of racism towards him by black players in the NBA making fun of him um, being a basketball player trying to you know just do his thing so I, I really respect him because he rose above all that people were like mentioning uh, everything, things that had nothing to do with basketball, things about like his, um, you know, I don't know, his masculinity, I guess, for a lack of better words. And people were just kind of just like talking down about him. I don't know if they were just were, af and I don't want to use the word afraid, but jealous maybe is the right word of his exposure and how popular he had gotten. I don't know what was going on, but there was a lot of just like animosity towards him. And then they were, they were saying that he was doing some cultural appropriation because he had his hair dreaded out or cornrowed or something. And I'm just like, dude, I mean, like, I mean, what, what is the problem? Like, he's a basketball player. Like, you know, you know, if you're better than him, so be it. If you're not, as, you're not as good as him, then so be it. But I really like, like that. I respect Jeremy Lin. I wish he got more respect uh, than he did, but I thought he, he definitely a trailblazer in my opinion. 
Then we have Daniel Medi- Megden. Megden. Shout out Oakland A's. Shout out to Tony Psyched on Baseball Cards. You got there. Look at that mustache. He looks like a young Johnny Depp right there. Man, that is awesome. That mustache is on point. Even in this picture, you can see like that mustache is not wavering in the awesomeness. Super cool. Jermaine Dye with the White Sox. This is another shout out to Bink Scott. All oh, this shininess. White Sox Jermaine Dye. I always like this product. This top's finest from what 2010 or 2009. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a cool one. Anyway, Eric Chavez, green or emerald, whatever they say. With the Arizona Diamondbacks. Then we got, ooh, Randy Johnson with Spectrum Randy Johnson card. I like Randy Johnson a lot. Big unit, indeed. I really like that. Like how he, even even then he was rocking the mullet, rocking the mullet there. That's cool. That's I think that's a variation that purple. If I'm not mistaken, the purple or the blue. Ooh, Grant Hill. I remember when he was playing ba- uh, basketball in college. Was it he with North Carolina or Duke or something? Grant Hill. I can't remember. Where did he go to college? Duke. See, I was I was right. I thought it was Duke. But Grant Hill. Awesome, awesome card. That's definitely very shiny. Mike Beebe. So that's a cool card. I like that one. I'm having my hand right on top of the basketball there. I remember him too. I remember this guy. Very nice. That is very nice. First round, second overall. Rowan. Let's see who else. Ooh, we got another. Ooh, this is an interesting one. We have a Dirk Nowinski in the background on top of a Tony Parker. He's b- trying to block him. That's a cool card. I've never seen anything like that. Tony Parker and Dirk Nowinski look very intense in this picture. It almost looks like it's inappropriate. You got Tony Parker who's doing. Like this, and then Dirk Lewinsky's licking his lips behind him. I mean, you can draw your own conclusion what might be going on here. There might be some man love going on here. You know, they might have captured a moment that they didn't want anybody else to know about. It it could happen. I'm just saying. Then we have a Matt Barkley. I've never seen this kind of car before, but it's a Philadelphia. Uh, Eagle, right? Philadelphia Eagle. With it, like, it's a really thin little, uh, like, small card. It's like narrow. It's not your, t- t- you know. If you see, like, you can see, like, right next to this. Or if I, there you go. You can see it's. So that's cool. Then we got ooh Brett Boone in the Pacific Collection. All this Shilba. Love it. Cincinnati Red, I appreciate you throwing in a Cincinnati Red for me. This is an insert, it looks like. I didn't know they even had insert cards in this collection, but I will take it. Ah, oh, love it. Thank you. Then we have, ooh, Juan Gone. Juan Gonzalez. I love it. Fleer card here. Is this from 1998? Yes. 1998 Fleer card, Juan gone with the Ranger, it looks like. So that's another Chase and Ink Chase. Awesome. Cincinnati Reds, I'll shout out myself, Jason. Zombie Collector. Then I have, ooh, a Scott Rowan. Okay, yeah, see? Again, someone who listens when I talk to my videos, I appreciate that. Pepino Man, I, I collect Scott Rowan. He's from Indiana. He's actually from Jasper, Indiana. He uh, grew up in a town not too far away from where I went to college. Small Christian college in southwest Indiana. 
But that's a really cool insert of Scott Rowan from the 1999 Fleer. And it's Philadelphia outfit. So that's Mike O, Wesker Griff, um, Phillies fan, Caesar. Oh, who else is who's else is a Phillies fan? Matt, Passion for Cards, Alex Bowman 53. Then we got right here, Darren Erstad. Oh, I know, man. This is all Pepino. This is a Pepino Man uh, package. I got, I got Pepino Man's package. So we got Darren Erstad and this ticket to stardom. It even looks like a ticket. So that's super cool. As you saw me lick my lips, I was so excited. But yes, this is a really cool card here. I love it. I like. I never seen this card before. I didn't even know these existed. This is a really cool card. So there's that one. I have a few more. He sent me a whole big stack of cards that looks like they're in um, top loaders. So I'm trying to get through the ones he did not. So we got Albert Bell. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. It's so shiny. This is a cool card right here. This is the club, Tops Club 40, 1988, 1998, sorry. All Matrix. So if this is a Matrix, it'd be like, as the bullets fly over him. He took the red pill. But this is a very shiny card, if I do say so myself. I know, I should have, I, well, I mean, I didn't say the chime box. You're going to be watching the chime box, so you better be ready. Then we got another Philadelphia Philly, Pat Burrell, or Pat Burrell. And that's a cool card, Tool Time, with Tim the Toolman Taylor. Nice 90s shout-out reference. And again, to... Ed and Mike and Caesar and Alex and Matt, all you guys, all you Phillies fans out there. I know, uh, Josh, you're a Yankees fan. I got to send you out some Yankees cards again. Then we got Rafael Palmero, everybody's favorite Baltimore Oriole and Texas Ranger and Chicago Cub and. I mean, should have been a Hall of Famer. Unfortunately, he let his personal ambitions get a, get ahead of him. The show's tomorrow. I'm going to the show tomorrow. Um, it's snowing pretty bad out here right now. I mean, I, when I say bad, it's just like, I mean, once you get on the main road, you're fine. I'll, I'll flip the camera around here in a little bit and let you all see my backyard. Um, I wanted to finish this here for Caesar. Or I'm sorry, like Cesar, but <clears throat> but it's tomorrow and it should stop tonight. They said, or first thing tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. So as long as you can get out to the roads, you'll be fine. Now again, I'm trying to I'm making sure I'm trying to tell Mark not to be concerned. It's if you're on the highway, you're not going to worry about the snow. But I can tell yesterday he was a little bit nervous about if uh, he if he's able to make it or not. So. I'm prepared for him to tell me he's not coming. If he doesn't come, I might not go out to the show because I'm not driving an hour south <clears throat> just to just to go to a, go to the show to turn around and come back. But I'm going to go hang out with Mark. Then it's worth it. So we'll see. We will see. All right, keeping on, keeping on. Now next up we have Bobby Abreu, 225 out of 250. This is a very cool card. I've never seen this card. This is a Upper Deck Victory, it looks like. Another Philadelphia Philly. That is awesome. Uh, let's put that right here. Then I, ooh, I have a Roberto Alomar. <laughs> Sweet Chase. When two are cool. <laughs> yeah, these actually came from Pepino Man. I'm going through his chime box. So that's funny. 
Yeah, I don't have any. I'm not playing any music today because if I play if I play music, then I have the chance, I have the possibility of the the video coming down uh, and then taking it off. And I don't want to have to do this video all over again. It's not fair to Papino Man. It's not fair to me to have to do the video two or three times. Plus, it kind of takes away this luster. If like I've already seen these cards, and I'm kind of like here's the card, here's the card. I want to be like, ooh, ah, whoa, ee, ah. And so, you know, that's the reason why. So we got the we got the Bobby Alomar. That's a cool card. I have a I have a Sandberg of this card. I do not have the Roberto Alomar. That's awesome. Next up I have a Vince Carter. Wow. This Vince Carter is pretty legit. Wow, look at all that. Prism going on in this car. That's the real deal Holyfield right there. And then we have a Tim Salmon, 1,180 out of 5,000. That's a cool card. That is a very cool card. There you go. There's the numbered card of Timmy Salmon. Wow, a Donovan McNabb card. I know. I definitely know who that guy is. There's a McNabb card with a Philadelphia Eagles, I think, right? If that's the Eagles? I think so, yeah. I like that McNabb card. My son, I'm sure, will like that card a lot. Then we have, ooh, Allen Iverson. A nice Allen Iverson card. So there you go. Allen Iverson. We got a, ooh, who's this? Oh, a Scotty Pippen. I never knew that Scotty put. I never knew he played for the Trailblazers. That's crazy. I had no idea that Scotty Pippen played for the Trailblazers. I might like, kind of just like dumbfound it right now. Hey, what's up, Henry? I just got done going through all your videos, dude. Finally. <clears throat> I finally got through the last six months of your videos. I watched all of them. And I, I saw that you ripped that pack of car that that uh, one one of one uh, autograph pack from the Doctor Who, and it was like uh, some like you said some like dump t dump truck driver or something. I was like, oh man, that sucks. But I watched that video. I mean, like so I know that's the most recent one, unless you put one up recent just in the last couple of hours or whatnot. But I finally got to watch your video, so I finally feel accomplished. That I got to watch through all your videos, dude. Thank you for your patience with me when I was going through the last six months of your videos. But I finally got caught up this morning. So there's that. Wow, this is a cool one. Adrian Beltre, future Hall of Famer. This is number 409 out of 500. And this is a really cool card. I love it. That is awesome, dude. Thank you so much, Cesar. But, Pino Man, you are the man, dude. There's the number... And I like that it has 1,579 or 71 ribbies career stat line printed on there. And then it even tells you right there on the back it's a numbered card. And then I have a, oh my gosh, I got a LeBron James card. Wow, you sent me a LeBron James. I don't think I got your email, dude. Oh. Hey, what's going on, Jeremy? The car dreamer is here. I'm a dream head. I'm just like a little dreamy. It's a little dreamy just knowing that you're right here with me. And to answer your card, or answer your card, answer your question, Henry, I have not got your email. I looked. So either I wrote my email down wrong, which I don't think I did, but you can get it from my uh, YouTube name. If you go to like about, you know, and then my email is on there. I don't know if you're on Facebook, but on Facebook, if you if we're friends on Facebook, if you friend me, then I can send you my phone number and then we can text. <clears throat> Cause I honestly don't check my email all that regularly. It's like every couple of days, but I did go look over the last past the last couple of days. Uh, Cause people do still email me through my, I've got more email action in the last year from my YouTube community than I've ever had in my entire life. And that, that's including high school. when it was all about email back in the nineties. So I have this cool LeBron James. This is when he was with the Cavs. I've never held in my entire life a LeBron James card. That My son likes LeBron James. He was even just telling me about it recently. Luca was like, I don't like him as a person, Dad, but as a basketball player, I think he's great, which 
it's a pretty good way of explaining that. Um, okay. <laughs> well, try to email me again. It's japan underscore missionary at yahoo.com. That's my email address. So if you go there, it's japan underscore the little line under uh, underscore and yeah, on um, missionary at yahoo.com. So if that's my email address, so if you want to try again, man, I'll give you my I'll give you my phone number and then we can text. It'll be easier. So that's cool, dude. I, I can't believe it, man. That's so awesome. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, dude. I cannot believe I'm holding this right now in my hand. I haven't even looked down. <laughs> yeah, I cannot believe that he sent me this, dude. Oh my gosh. He sent me a triple relic card. Wow. If you can see my eyes right now, they're like cross-eyed because I'm just like in awe. I did this number. I had 250. This is number 161. And like I was just telling you all earlier, if I'm a if I'm a basketball fan, I'm a Pacers fan and a and a, and a Celtics fan. Those are the two teams I I pace I the the Celtics I grew up with because of Larry Bird. So in Indiana, him being a big deal, him he being like the one of the very few white players that were ever actually anybody to get excited about was really good. And so obviously by proxy, uh, the Southerners were really great in the eighties. So it was great. And then when I moved up to Indianapolis, I became a Pacers fan. So I go to a lot of Pacers games. So he sent me this awesome patch card of Sean Marion, Antoine Walker, who Antoine Walker, I grew up watching as well. And then the and then the Boston Celtics Paul Pierce. Wow, man. Super, super wow. That is so cool. And then on the back you can see the it's numbered. Wow. Dude, like I'm like, you know, it takes a lot for me to be speechless. Oh like, like, like I'm just like like I said, John Cusack and say anything. Man, that is awesome. Dude, thank you so much for this, uh, Papino, man. Dude, that is awesome, man. Thank you so much. And I'm still not done. There's still more stuff in here. Holy smokes. Then I just see an on-card autograph. I know, dude. An on-card autograph of Levi, Levi Michael from Leaf Draft. And this is from... 2011. So the chances of him, you know, you know, making it and doing anything is probably pretty slim now. It's been eight years, but it's still cool on on card autograph. It's a beautiful silver card, and his autograph looks great for a young player for young people. Where they pretty much like write a squiggly line or like a little couple humps on a number or on their card. That's a legit. That's a real legit autograph. Like, you know, that's a really pretty autograph. I, I appreciate that guy doing like a decent autograph. Holy smokes. This is like a, uh, I don't know, this is like, this might be one of his very first cards. This is a Paul Goschmidt, uh, was like a Donruss Elite card. That is awesome. Paul Goldschmidt. That is cool. I've never seen this before. This is a gold rush of Manny Ramirez. That's an awesome gold rush card. I've never seen that. So like 1990s with the spray paint on the background with the tagging. I'm assuming that's what that is. At least I think that's what it's supposed to be. Or at least it's trying to be. That is a that's a lot of chine on this one too. There's like chine, a lot of chine. Oh wow, he sent me another Scott Rowland card, dude. Yes, I love this. Oh my goodness, and it's numbered. It's numbered out of four thousand. One thousand six hundred and ninety-six of this Scott Rowland Don Russ card. Man, that is so cool, dude. Does it say fan uh, fan club? There's a number on the back. That is awesome. Dude, that is so cool. Like I said, I'm a big Scott Rowland fan. He's from Indiana, so I like Scott Rowland. 
And then a, Dar a Darren Erstad card. Uh, this is an insert card, one of his inserts from EX. I believe that's what it's called from EX. EX Sports. It's in the game. Yeah, you gotta keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, we're gonna keep rolling, rolling, rolling right here. Another S Scott Rowland. I don't have this. It says Baby Boomers. Baby Boomers. My mom and dad are actual Baby Boomers. This is like, he's like a Baby Boomer Jr. That is an awesome car. That's like a lot of shine. It's so shiny. All the fireworks blasting off behind them. That's a really cool insert car from the 90s. Wow, Brian Hunter, mining for gold. From this, this is a, what product is this? Is this a Topps product? I don't see. I don't know what product it's from. It just says Major League Baseball. When I think of mining for gold, I think of picking your nose, trying to get that one of the far back regions of your nostrils. So this is a different take on mining for gold. But Brian Hunter, it's a really pretty looking card. I like this card. It's, oh, it's metal. There it is. Yeah, it is. 1996 metal. It's metal. Yeah, man. Anthrax. Napalm Death. Cannibal Corpse. Dio. There it is. We got Andy Pettit. Star Representatives. Oh, this is number two. This is out of 5,000. This is 2,225 2, of this Andy Pettit. I think he's a great pitcher. I don't think he's a Hall of Fame pitcher. I know a lot of people are talking about how maybe he could be a possible Hall of Famer. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. I definitely think he's a Hall of Great. But like I said, all bets are off with Baines in there now. So it just depends on if somebody had like a really good taco lunch and they come back and they're feeling really good and like really like, you know, um, just generous, you know, pet, people like Pettit could get in. But if they had like a real bad taco and they have indigestion and they're having to run to the bathroom, Pettit might not get in. I think when Baines got in, it was a lot to do with him. Just had, They had a really good taco lunch. Maybe they got some chorizo. And it kind of gave him a little spice, gave him a little kick, you know, kind of like nice in the palate. And, um, yeah, he's definitely the Hall of OK. And that's how uh, Baines got in, I believe. But here is Andy Pettit, Yankees and Astros extraordinaire. And then I have, ooh, the Triple A, Triple A guy, or Triple A, Triple B. Back in the day, it was Bagwell and Bijo, but then they got Berkman and the Killer Bees. That is an awesome insert card. I love it. I've never seen this card before. Super cool. Donruss Zenith. Let me show that again. I love that. I collect these two guys, Bijo and, I'm sorry, Bagwell and Bijo. I used to collect Berkman, but not anymore. So if you're looking for Berkman cards, let me know. I'll send some your way. I have a pretty nice collection of Berkman. All right, guys, I'm down to the last few uh, cards. Now, I got another Juan Gonzalez or Juan Gon from SP. Is that SPX? No, just wrote just wrote SP. So that Juan Gon, that's an that's a um, insert as well. Love it. Then I have oh Tony Gwynn. I've never seen this car before. Stars in Steel. I guess it's a steel, maybe? I don't know. I've never seen it before. That is awesome. It's heavy, so I think it is. Yeah, it's like a steel card. I'm, I do not own this card. Even the back's very shiny. That is awesome, dude. Very awesome. 
Then we got Raul Mondesi. I used to own a Xena. My very first TV was a Xena, the big gray tube tube TV model. You know, I don't I don't think I've ever seen a Xena TV in the last 15 years. I don't think there is a Xena. They are. They're probably like real low wind somewhere in some like no tell motels or something. But I don't remember seeing a Zenith TV in years. I like this Ra Raul Mondesi card with the Dodgers. I think it's the Dodgers and this, yes. Oh, this is cool. Sammy Sosa. Um, soul of the game insert. This is a really cool insert of Sammy Sosa. It looks, like a, it looks like a barcode right there, but it just says Skybox on it. Skybox Premium. But this insert of Sammy Sosa is nice. Enjoying that. And then this is a Sammy Sosa card. I don't know, I've never seen this. This is the museum collection. So here's a museum collection Sammy Sosa card. And you can see on the back it says museum collection on there. So this is one of the insert cards. There he is inspecting the bat to see if there's any cork in it. He needs to make sure there is. Ooh, this is a, oh my gosh, this is a Summit Edition from Score 1995. I've never seen this card before. A Wade Boggs. Holy smokes. This is a very shiny card. I've never seen this card before. Man, that is cool. And I opened a lot of a lot of this product. This must be a pretty uh, tough insert to pull, because I open this product up a lot. Because there's a ball card shop not too far from me, Four Sharp Corners in beautiful Greenfield, Indiana, and uh, I've never seen this card before. Um, out of the packs, even if like it was like some like Mo Vaughn, like somehow I got Mo Vaughn Mojo. If I'm going to open up a pack of cards from like the '90s, or early aughts, and it's going to be an insert card. It's gonna be either Joe. It's gonna be either uh, Albert slash Joey Bell, or it's gonna be Mo Vaughn. Like I can't get almost anybody else. Like if it's gonna be an insert, it's gonna be one of those two guys. Two guys I do not collect. So if you're a Mo Vaughn or a Joey Bell collector, I probably got a bunch of inserts for you. Wow, this is awesome. I've never even seen this before. The human vacuum cleaner, Brooks Robinson. This is a this is a, this had to be an insert card because of the chine in it. It has like a gold tint. Maybe I can't tell my sunglasses on it's throwing me off with my colors. But that is an amazing, amazing card. I do not own this card. I had other cards similar to this. Oh, it's the diamond. That's right. This is like a diamond edition. So I'm not for sure exactly if it was like they came in like boxes or sealed cases. Hey, what's up, dude? You're back. What's up, Bronx boys? That is an awesome card. I, I think they came in, like, sealed uh, sets, or, like, maybe they might have been, like, insert, like, cards and wax boxes or retail that you got, like, two or three cards that you opened up on them, like, little, like, silver packs. And then lastly, my last card, but definitely not least, I've never seen this one before either. It's called Special Selection, I believe, or Special Petition. Well, I can't even tell what it even said. What? I don't know. I've never seen it before. I don't know what it is. But it's a Don Mattingly. That is awesome, dude. I ended, I ended on a Don Mattingly card. That is epic. As you all know, I'm a huge Don Mattingly collector. Don Mattingly, Barry Larkin, and Ichiro Suzuki. Uh, are my three main guys, but like I talked about before, Jim Abbott, um, Scott Rowan, um, you know, who else? All the Japanese baseball players, really, if I'm going to be honest. I'm a Cincinnati Reds fan, so, you know, a lot of the Reds guys, old, modern day, from all the way back to, you know, the 1980s, 1800s, just a big Reds fan. But I'm a huge fan of Donnie Baseball. So cool. I, I can't make out what it says. It says the special something, maybe special. I can't make it out. His hat's in the way of the wording. 
Well, if you, hey, I don't know, Henry, you might want to go. I've done, I did a Matt, Don Mattingly binder video a couple months ago. You should go and watch my video if you like Don Mattingly, because I have well over, I'm sure I have three to 500 Mattingly's. That video was nothing but a Don Mattingly video, and I've accumulated a lot more since then, so I'll probably be doing another video here some, sometime soon on my Mattingly's. But um, if you like Don Mattingly, you should watch that video of mine. Uh, you might enjoy it unless you've already seen it. But that Don Manley has, I've never seen it. It's an upper deck card from two, the 1995. So it was his final year. Because he retired in 95. So that's kind of very fitting. So that's it. So to recap, this has been the Chine Box. The tape kind of took some of that. So that sucks. Sorry about that. But the Chine Box and. As always, you have to love the hobby, right? Per what Pepino Man says. I just want to say again, uh, Cesar, Pepino Man, thank you so very much for these cards. I've had a great time going through them. As you can see, it's an hour-long video, so I don't know how many people will actually watch it to the end. But I really want to take the time to go through it and, and show people how much I appreciated your, uh, your contest and how much you thought about me to give me some cards that you know that I would appreciate. And, you know, I felt like it was very a like, personal care package. It wasn't just like, here's a couple of cards, hope you'll enjoy them, you know, which again, it's fine. And that's wonderful. We've all said that. And I've said that a hundred times. I appreciate that. But whenever a, a care package comes to me, or even it's a winning, a winning, like a winning response video, you, you, you made it towards me. You like kind of directed a little bit and said, you know, Hey, this is the things he likes Scott Rowan. He likes the Reds. He likes the Yankees. He likes Don Mattingly. He likes number cards. I mean, I'm going to throw some stuff in there. I mean, that tells me a lot that you care enough to do that. You just didn't give me like, you know, a couple of shiny football cards and say, all right, here, man, you won. And I'm, I'm so appreciative. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you again, Cesar. If you all have not checked him out, which I'm sure you have, it's Pepino Man here on YouTube. Check him out. His videos are way more entertaining than mine. So if you're um, bored by me just talking about my uh, junk era collection, he is the exact opposite of that. So definitely check him out. So until next time, peace, love, hair grease, and always keep an eye out for those milkmaids. I'm out. Maybe. <laughs> See you guys later. I might not be able to go. Maybe I'm here.